And again, we're back to uh, the problem associated with saying that the present is a key to the past because we don't have those kind of catastrophes today. No, we, we can talk about the laws of physics being the same in the past. I mean, water still flowed downhill during mm -hmm. the flood, but it, we're talking about the rates of processes. There's a difference. We're not talking about the suspension of of, of physical laws during the flood. Mm -hmm. Some people would say, oh, but you're imposing a miracle for catastrophic plate tectonics or, or for catastrophic uh, decay rates. No, we're talking about the normal physical laws, but they're operating at catastrophic rates. Mm -hmm. And that's the difference. Yes, the present does give us clues about the past, but we have to be careful that we're not locked in to saying only today's rates can be used to explain mm -hmm. how rapid processes were in the yeah. past. When we see several lines of evidence on the scale, and we'll see this when we look at Sedona, when we look at the scale of the sedimentary layers, the scale of the layers indicates much greater scale mm -hmm. of, of catastrophic action in the past. Mm -hmm.